Minutes of meeting of number 13th, health March 16th. Any additions or corrections? Will they be accepted as printed? Second. Sec Moved and seconded. Discussion? All those in favor, signify 7-0. Thank you. We'll move right into reports and correspondence. I, I'm going to start that off tonight, if I may, so that I don't forget something before I get too far along. The uh, three that I want to report to you about this past week, 7.30 Wednesday morning was the Finance Committee of Regional Waste Services, and we've approved the budget for next year, kept the tipping fee where we thought it should be, as I reported to you a month ago, and things look pretty good for the year uh, 95. The uh, 7.30 Friday morning, we had a meeting, a joint meeting of managers and mayors and chairs, which Janet started a uh, year ago, and I, I went to my first one and I had a great time. It uh, very worthwhile, the discussion back and forth, and I congratulate her on getting this thing started. I just wish I'd been to more, but I'm going to suggest that to the next chairman of the Cape Elizabeth Town Council, that he go to many as he can, because it's extremely interesting. The third meeting was 2 o'clock Saturday afternoon for the dedication of our new jail. I don't go to anything that I can't get out of, so I didn't go Friday night. But uh, it's, it's, it's quite a... I want to use the right words, because I, I was so pleased with what I saw and you can't call a jail uh, a nice place. You can't call it a, a beautiful job. You, you, you can't call it all those things. But the committee did a wonderful job, wonderful job, in making it a place to uh, have people. Really, really good. At this time, to go along with the jail, uh, we've got our chairman of our county commission here, Lyle B. Kramer, tonight. And Lyle, I know you have something you want to say. Will you do it now, please? Uh, thank you, Mr. Chairman. As you mentioned, I think that the jail construction was a, a great success. Uh, it's come in under budget and will soon open a little bit after schedule, but uh, it will open not too far off schedule. And one of the reasons it's been so successful, I think, is that we had a lay committee of 30 people from across the county who worked real hard to guide the county commissioners. And one of the most consistently supportive uh, consistently in, in attendance and one of the most contributing members of that committee was your own Bill Jordan and I know you folks know what he's done here for the town of Cape Elizabeth I want you to know that through the Budget Advisory Committee and the Jail Committee he's working just as hard for the county uh, he did not he was not able to make it to <coughs> dinner where we presented plaques in honor and thanking those members of the jail committee. So tonight, I'd like to present your own Bill Jordan with a plaque that says Cumberland County Jail Committee. It has the uh, seal of the County of Cumberland. William Jordan, thank you for your outstanding work and dedication sign, Cumberland County Commissioners. Don't walk over with it. We'll make him walk down there, Bill. <laughs> Good exercise. <laughs> Would you like to say a few words, Bill? No. <laughs> I just want to say I'm sorry that I missed your banquet deal or the, the uh, supper for the committee and what have you, but it's one of those things I kind of had to come up late. And uh, I also want to say I I really appreciate the committee that I worked with as far as putting this together. It was a t tremendous education, and uh, we really had some nice meetings where everybody didn't agree every time. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, Councilor Jordan. Thank you, Mr. Kramer, very much. Any other reports and correspondence, please? Councilor McLaughlin. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Last month, the Executive Committee of Greater Portland Council of Governments had its regular meeting. We heard from some of the staff members there telling about what some of their responsibilities were and had some general discussion. One thing that I've seen, not necessarily as a direct follow-up, but I have seen correspondence from our Fort Williams Commission 
to GP Cog asking about additional funding sources, and I'm glad they're taking advantage of that resource. Okay. Thank you. Any others? Well, moving right along, we'll get to citizens' discussion of items not on the agenda. Is there any citizen of Cape Elizabeth who would like to speak of an item not on the agenda? <coughs> Seeing none, we will move right along to... I, I left that one out. I, I, I get the devil when I do that, because there might be somebody here that wanted to say something. I knew you didn't. Uh, public hearing tonight on uh, process for sewer appeals, amendments to the zoning ordinance and amendments to the sewer ordinance. Item number one, the public hearing is open. Anybody from the public that would like to speak on this, please come forward to the podium and give your name and address. Seeing none, we'll close the public hearing. Item number 148, to consider proposed amendments to the sewer ordinance and the zoning ordinance regarding jurisdiction for appeals and take any necessary action. Mr. McGovern. Yes, uh, Mr. Chairman. What this would do is transfer responsibility for hearing sewer appeals from the uh, former Board of Sewer Appeals to the Board of Zoning Appeals. Thank you. Yes, Councilor. I just wanted to ask Mr. McGovern, um, who is the sewer superintendent? It's the Director of Public Works. <laughs> Thank you. I just want a clarification <clears throat> that. Mr. Chairman, I move, oh. I move that we adopt the revisions as presented. Thank you. Okay. Second. Moved and second. The discussion? Seeing none, we'll vote, please. Seven zero, thank you. Number 149, to consider a report from the Finance Committee regarding the proposed FY 1995 general fund budget for municipal, school, community services, and county services and take any necessary action. In your uh, notes from the manager, there's a proposed motion. If anybody likes that and would like to make it, or their own, it's all right. Well, the chair will accept either. Councilor Jordan. Mr. Chairman, I would like to order that the Kidwiss Town Council hereby acknowledge receipt of the Finance Committee's report and set to a public hearing on Monday, May 9th, 1994 at 7.30 p.m. at the Town Hall. The proposed year 1995 general fund budget with expenditures of $15,980,222, revenues of $4,720,078, and $11,260,144 net to taxation. And I shall move. Second. Moved and seconded. Discussion. Seeing none, we'll vote, please. 7-0. Thank you. Number 150, to consider a report from the Finance Committee regarding the proposed <coughs> FY 1995 Enterprise Fund budgets for sewers, Riverside Cemetery, Spurwink Church, Portland Headlight, and Fort Williams Park. Capital expenditures and take any necessary action. Councilor Jordan. Yes. <coughs> I would like to order that the Cable Town Council hereby acknowledge receipt of the Finance Committee's report and set to a public hearing on Monday, May 9, 1994 at 7.30 p.m. at the Town Hall. The proposed fiscal year 1995 special fund budget with the expenditures and revenue as follows. Spurring Church Fund expenditures of $4,466 and revenue of $5,400. Pull and Headlight Fund, expenditures of $217,408 with revenue of $254,700. Fort Williams Capital Fund, $34,800 of expenditures and $34,800 of revenue. Sewer Fund, $1,480,792 four dollars of expenditures and revenue of one thousand four hundred and thirty three dollars and eight hundred and ninety dollars excuse me that should have been four hundred and forty three thousand these big numbers kind of confuse me revenue cemetery fund nine thousand three hundred and forty five dollars of expenditures and twenty five thousand six hundred and sixty dollars as revenue with a grand total 
of expenditures of $1,746,813 with revenue of $1,754,450. And I so move. Second. Moved and seconded on item number 150. Discussion? No, I was voting. Sorry. sorry. We've already voted. All those in favor? 7-0. <laughs> Thank you. <coughs> She's way, way ahead of me. Getting now. anxious. 151 item, 151, to consider a report from the Fort Williams Advisory Commission requesting authorization to undertake certain projects in fiscal year 1994 <laughs> to take any necessary action. Mr. McGovern, please. Yeah, the Director of Public Works uh, is here as well to answer any questions. Uh, this would repair some stone and concrete stairways, uh, help to restore the garden pond, uh, do some stone wall repair, and place $3,000 into the Fort Williams Trust for projects in future years. <coughs> Thank you, Mr. McGovern. Entertain a motion? Can't discuss it till we get a motion. Mr. Chairman, I move that we consider the report from the Fort Williams Advisory Commission with their authorization requests. Thank you. Second. Moved and second. The discussion, please. Councillor Dahlbeck. <coughs> this is all covered in the budget. Yes. Thank you. Any other discussion? Councillor McLaughlin. I was very. I'm pleased to see that they were recommending um, a transfer of funds into the trust. I think that's a savvy move and will serve us, serve the entire town well as we go along. Thank you. <clears throat> Any other discussion? Councillor Cargishow. I was talking to Mr. Malley and I was telling him how delighted I am that finally they're starting to do something on the pond. At least keep it from. Um, deteriorating any, any further, making it a little more appealing. Thank you. Any other discussion? We will vote then. All those in favor? 7-0. <coughs> Thank you. Item 152, to consider a report from the Appointments Committee regarding proposed vacancies on the Board of Assessment Review and take any necessary action. Council McLaughlin. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. The Appointments Committee, which consists of Councilor Nell, Councilor Marvin, and myself as chairman, have two recommendations to make to the Council. These are both for members um, of the Board of Assessment Review. The first is for the reappointment of David's, David Scheffler. Um, this is my error. He should have been on the list in February, and it was omitted, and I apologize to David for that. I'm glad he's interested in continuing three more years. The second recommendation is that of Ann Kerner to um, be on that board. And for Ann, it's a two-year appointment. This clears up some previous situation where we had two members of a three-member board um, up for um, reappointment in the same year. We rather see one member a year on a three-member board. Ann understands that and um, has consented to it being a two-year term. She is a tax paralegal for Portland legal firm and she also has previous experience serving the town on the Fort Williams Advisory Commission and the Charter Review Commission. And I would move that the council accept these two recommendations. Second on motion. Moved and seconded. Any discussion? <coughs> All those in favor? Re yes, I'm sorry. Question. Councilor Dahlbeck. Question with uh, Ann Kerner. Uh, this is not likely to end up being a, a uh, conflict of interest with her uh, legal work. She did not seem to think it would be. Thank you. Thank you. I'm ready. All those in favor? 7-0. Thank you. Item 153, to consider the appointment of ballot clerks and take any necessary action. Ms. Lane, please. Thank you. State law requires that municipal officers appoint election clerks or ballot clerks in each general election year. In your packet, you did receive the names suggested by the Democratic Party. <coughs> uh, I requested names from the Republican Party. Uh, I was unsuccessful in getting a list. However, state law does provide that I am able to appoint um, ballot clerks, so we will have um, the appropriate personnel at elections. Thank you, Ms. Lane. We have a motion on 153. 
I'll be delighted to move the uh, nomination of the uh, names on the Democratic Thank side. You. I'll second. Thank moved, you. And, <laughs> moved and seconded. Any discussion? All those in favor? 7-1. Thank you. Item 154, to consider approving the proposed dog warrant and take any necessary action. Ms. Can Lane, we assume that last vote was 7-0? <clears throat> Who voted the other way? I know you said 7-1. <laughs> Again? I got <clears throat> Probably thought that you voted <laughs> against it, Janet. <laughs> I wish you'd stop whispering when I'm doing this. The, uh, Ms. Lane, please, on the dog warrant. Thank you very much. <laughs> Are you sure? Maybe she voted. <laughs> state law, law requires each year that the municipal officers approve the dog warrant. Basically what this states is that uh, anyone's dog that is not licensed on or before May 1st will be subjected to a $10 late fee. Uh, the animal control officer will visit those dog owners who have not registered their dog by May 1. Thank you. May I have a motion, please? So moved. Second. Moved and seconded. Discussion? All those in favor? 7-0. <laughs> Thank you, Jim. <clears throat> Item number 155, to consider approving the warrant for the May 1994 municipal election and take any necessary action. Ms. Lane, please. Thank you. In your packet, you do have a copy of the municipal election. It will be held on Tuesday, May 3rd at the high school gymnasium. We have three members for the town council available and also three members of the school board. These are all three-year terms to expire June 9th, 1997. Anyone that is interested in registering to vote may do so at town hall, or the Board of Voter Registration will be in session on Thursday, April 28th from 4.30 to 6.30 right at the town office. Uh, also, absentee ballots for those that are unable to attend uh, the polls on Tuesday, May 3rd, 3rd should be in my office by the end of this week, hopefully. So if anybody is interested, please contact me. Thank you, Ms. Lane. Entertain a motion? So moved. Second. second. Moved and seconded. All those discussion? All those in favor? 7-0. Thank you. Item number 156, to consider the acceptance of state funds and take any necessary action. Ms. Lane, do you want that one, or do you want it, Mr. McGovern? Ms. Lane, please. In your packet, you received a copy of a document that is required by the state in order for the town to accept uh, specific state funds, and you can see all the categories that are listed. I would um, ask that you approve this this evening. Thank so you. moved. Second. Moved and seconded. Discussion? All those in favor? 7-0, thank you. Item number 157, to consider entering into executive session to review a request for a poverty abatement and to discuss land acquisition disposition matters and take any necessary action. <coughs> I have a motion, please? So moved. Second. second. Moved and seconded. Yes. Mr. Counselor. Chairman, I'll participate only in part of this executive session due to a perceived conflict. Fine, thank you. Any other discussion? All those in favor? This meeting is adjourned and we are going into an executive session. I do not believe tonight with the work that we have that there will be any votes taken now or later so we can close out the uh, recorded part of this meeting and let our people go home early for a change. There, there may be a vote on the poverty abatement. Is that going to come back here? No, no. No. Nobody By me, I shouldn't say no yeah. votes. Thank you for correcting me. There may be a vote, but it doesn't have to come back here and be broadcast. Okay, so we will close down the video part of tonight's, and we'll go into executive session in about five minutes when we get a chance to stretch. <coughs> this must be a modern-day record. This is a record. <laughs> modern and ancient. All I, all I can think of is eat your hearts out, South Portland and Portland. <laughs> we, we already